Welcome to your daily inspiration and motivation with Dan, where I oversimplify life and business for you. So this particular topic that I have chosen today is called winning the game of life. And you know, the Greeks said, know thyself. And that wasn't just a statement or something somebody came up with after having a few drinks. It's because when we know ourselves and we know what matters to us and what inspires us, then we can win the game of life. What happens every day is that we have only 10% to ourselves. So let me explain. We only have 10% of our days to do what we want. Research shows that we are approximately 90% habit. So if our days are 90% habit, that means the minutes the hours, the weeks, the months, the years, we only have 10% of that to do what we want, to do what inspires us and makes us feel good. Now, you could say, well, you could argue that, well, I have habits where I do the things that I want. Granted, I go walking in nature like this and I do certain exercises every day, then I get to do what I want. But we need to break the habit every once in a while and do something different could be a vacation or take a day like today. I'm taking a day to go to a conservation with my children and enjoy it. These are the things that you can do to break the habit, but also you can do other things because winning the game of life is not what you're doing in the physical world. It's what you do in your mind first. There's a great author called Florence Chauvel Shin, and she has a book called Winning the Game of Life. And she wrote this back in the early 1900s. And not only her, but a number of others, Neville Goddard and even Tony Robbins, they talk about this. They talk, the power, talk about the power of your imagination. Because when you imagine it in your mind, then you can believe it. Because if you don't believe in something or you don't believe that you can do, have, or be something or go somewhere, then you will not. There's no question about it. You will not be able to experience the exotic experiences in life unless you imagine it first, unless you can see yourself doing it. I mean, think about the next time you plan a vacation, think about how that comes about. You probably think of places you've been to before. You, you know, if you like tropical exotic places like I do, then you will imagine those places. You will start looking online. You will get images in your mind of what that looks like. And you'll probably dream about it and think about it and talk about it. And then ultimately you will book it and then do it and experience it and then create more images and more experiences and more relevance and a belief that you can go and have these types of exotic experiences when you want to, as long as you schedule them. So the key that I'm focusing in on here today is if you want freedom in your life, then the freedom comes from inside, not outside. It's not what other people are doing. It's not about, you know, your, uh, them making you happy. It's about you making you happy. And it's about you getting inside of that 10% every day. It's only 10%. It's not a whole lot. I mean, if you think about it, you know, you have two and a half hours every day, essentially out of, you know, a whole day and you're not awake the whole time. So, You know, you need to think about what it is that you want, focus on it, dream about it, get to know yourself, know thyself, as Pythagoras said. And once you know yourself and you know what you want and you recognize what you're doing and focus your attention, focus your mind, because once you focus your mind in, then nothing can stop you. So if this was valuable, leave me a comment below. And if you're not on my YouTube channel, head over there. You'll see other videos that will help you become your highest and best self. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.